I'm looking at a shot which perhaps might work once I get into the woodland but the the ferns are creating a really natural pathway through the forest and the trails that are there they're kind of banked by these ferns and it just makes me wonder if there's going to be a in my mind quite a powerful image maybe quite a dark image with the light that's coming through the trees you know really standing out in contrast because of how, how dark the image might be and there is quite a bit of cloud around as well so you know we get this dappled light which I actually quite like it could be good let's get going there's some really lovely trees here look at these such brilliant shapes I wonder if they'll make a good photo they seem to almost be like in position like they're in a conversation you know in Lord of the Rings when you've got the uh, all the Ents and the you know, tree beard and all that and the trees kind of gathered around in a circle in a conversation I can almost see that about these trees so I'm wondering if I should just come back a bit here comes a bit of light as well I've got the Lycan with me today, the, uh, the Q, and it's got 28 mil, which I think might be a good focal length for this forest. One of the challenges with forests woodland photography in general is that it's such a busy place with so much to look at that when you take a photo you don't always know where to look and in fact you can find that just when you walk through a forest you don't always know where to look and so I'm having to think about the composition to get this right you've got these these trees that are here and I like the shape of that one with the kind of branch coming out and there's another one here with good shape and so I'm wondering, wondering about whether to actually bring my composition, you know, about towards those trees as if they're, you know, the main focus of it. And then perhaps then the rest of the scene will find its place. And in fact, there are some more interesting trees through there as well. Right. Let's just try. You're never going to know if you don't try. It's really important as well to get your aperture right because you want the the shot to have the focus in the right place but you don't want everything kind of going off into blurriness so you have to be careful about how how wide your aperture is so here i've got about f8 which should get most most of the shot in in focus but hopefully my composition will direct your eye to where it should be if you want to learn more about photography get over to photographymadesimple.uk and that's a website there that's completely free and it's there just to make you a better photographer um, you can also click over to my mentor sessions which are available on zoom and if you um, click on those um, on my website, you can get all kinds of different mentoring, right from refresher, beginner courses on uh, landscape photography, right through all different types of photography sessions to really have a one-on-one -on -one and get more in depth. So I can help you to, to grow and in, kind of improve your portfolio. The depth of green here is so beautiful. You know, it's mainly these ferns, they're just creating the a deep green in the forest and it it just balances off against the bark so beautifully you look back there it's just such a lovely wash of green okay let's see what we can find up here huh, so we're going to leave what is a what I would consider to be I don't know what, even know what trees these are, are they pine trees some of them are but I don't know going to leave this forest 
and then we're going to cross this one pathway and then it's just got loads of Christmas trees. So, <laughs> such a change. Oh look, there's an amazing den. Look at this. Wow. What a place. Someone's built a fantastic den in here, look. How cool is that? There have been a lot of films shot here on this location and you can see why. It's such a mixture of different terrains, different, you know, parts of the forest, different colours. You've got the green of the ferns behind here, but here is a pine forest. I mean, it goes from one forest to the other really distinctly. It makes it a really interesting place to photograph because we've got the, the kind of nothingness of this pine forest, just pine trees on the floor, and it's all pretty dead on the floor. And then it goes off into the, the green behind it, which I really like. I just wanted to show you this from this lovely forest here. You've got this kind of desolation where there was a really tragic fire last year and it burnt a lot, a lot of trees down. Um, I don't even know how it started, but I just remember on the news one day there was this, you know, alert going on that there was a big fire quite close by. And uh, so sad, but now it's, now it's gone. I kind of wonder if there'll be some nice photographs of the desolation that was left. So let's, let's see what we can find. So I think this might be quite a good photo because we've got this little tree stump here that's left, which is not really growing anymore, but it's there. And you've got the tree here that's burnt and then collapsed. But beyond that, you just goes into a landscape of ash and dark and burnt ground, but then back into green again. And I quite like that composition of the, the contrast of the two. So I'm going to try and get a photo somehow here. I think maybe there's a composition here somewhere. Just got to get the land right because there's a bit of a hill and a slant here. So I'm thinking if I get lower, you know, is that a better shot? Because there's some dark sky there as well, which does add to that sense of, you know, the, the danger and the devastation. Let's give it a go.